As AI continues to advance, these seven industries are set for massive transformation. I'm going to show you an alarming, but also an exciting graph. This is the number of AI papers published on Archive every month. As you can see, it follows an exponential distribution, essentially doubling about every 24 months. Now think about this. This is the graph from before ChatGPT, GPT-4, and most of the other AI advancements associated with text to image. It's not a leap to say that AI is evolving at an exponential rate based on this information. The rapid advancements in the field have made it a driving force for change across various industries, whether we like it or not. AI is poised to disrupt if work is needed, how work gets done, and the future of many industries. This creates new opportunities and also challenges for businesses and individuals alike. Right now, we're gonna highlight seven industries that I think are set up for the most aggressive disruption by AI in the coming years. You're gonna to wanna to stay till the end because the last one, it might impact you directly. For those outside the US, this might be shocking. This graph shows the cost of US college tuition per year from 1963 to 2021. Now this graph includes four-year institutions, both private and public, and two-year institutions. Just looking at private four-year institutions, the average cost of attendance is around $47,000 a year, and for public four-year institutions, it's around $21,000 per year. The cost of education in the US is overwhelming and frankly not worth it in many scenarios. Globally, education is less expensive, but also is still ripe for improvement and innovation. AI has the potential to revolutionize the education sector through low-cost, personalized learning experiences and improving accessibility. With AI-powered tools, educators can provide tailored learning materials and real-time feedback to students, allowing for a customized and efficient education. Furthermore, AI-driven platforms can offer remote learning opportunities, opening doors for students in underserved communities or remote locations. I personally think that the education system in the US is a bubble and that AI innovation will be the pin that makes it pop. Right now, between ChatGPT and affordable online courses, I think you can get as good an education as you would from most elite academic institutions. If universities don't adopt these tools and start making education more affordable, I think that they'll probably be left obsolete in the long run. AI scams are already here and they're scary. Imagine getting a call from a loved one who was hurt in a car accident and needs you to wire them money. Between voice cloning and image generation technology, a scenario like this could be believable. The current way that we protect our identity and privacy It'll need to change rapidly to catch up with new dangers this technology presents. Currently, Stanford University found that 88% of all data breaches are because of an employee mistake. With such convincing and advanced AI systems out there that can fool humans, it seems like a lot more people will be subject to opening vulnerabilities, whether in your personal security or in a company's. There was already talk about how GPT-4 was able to fake being blind to get around a CAPTCHA. Data privacy and cybersecurity services will likely have to make transformative change to keep up with the new tools and the bad actors in the space. The famous street artist David Cho is already talking about how AI tools can make art better and faster than he ever could. There are thousands of fully automated YouTube channels that are popping up every day. Copywriters are being made obsolete by these large language models. AI has already heavily influenced the content space. Let's narrow it down on just YouTube. Someone can have a script written by ChatGPT, the script can be read aloud in a human sounding voice by Eleven Labs, and then they have images put on screen completely generated by Midjourney. You could even have AI make the background music for the video. The barrier to entry for creating content consistently has never been lower. I expect that there will be a massive influx of new content creators everywhere. On the other hand, since content is easy to make now, and you don't even have to show your face on it, I expect that content will become heavily commoditized. Individuals and companies will also have to face issues of originality, trust, and intellectual property as people continue to pump out blog after blog and video after video. I'm probably personally biased on this topic because I have a podcast, but I think that we'll actually see a reversion to long-form content that's also conversational. I find that these types of conversations are harder to replicate than other types of content, just because of their randomness and the individual stories that are associated with them. Feel free to check out my podcast if you're interested in stories around people in the data and AI space. Next, AI has the potential to significantly disrupt the outsourcing industry, especially in the realm of administrative work. Tasks such as data entry, scheduling, and document management can be automated using AI, which can perform these tasks faster, 
with fewer errors than humans. As a result, businesses can cut costs, increase efficiency, and reduce their reliance on outsourcing routine tasks. We're already starting to see very basic AI personal assistants, but I expect these will be fully functional and able to interact with your calendar and email in probably less than a year. This shift will also have implications for millions of people employed in the outsourcing industry, as the job opportunities in routine administrative work might decline. To say relevant workers and outsource companies will need to adapt by focusing more on specialized tasks or services, perhaps even having to leverage these AI tools effectively to stay in demand. 90% of consumers say that an immediate response is very important when they have a customer service question. Who's better able to hand large volumes of customer service calls and questions? An AI that can scale up and down infinitely or a workforce of people? In case it wasn't obvious, it's the AI. Customer service is another industry that's already experiencing significant disruption due to AI. Chatbots and virtual assistants can handle routine inquiries, freeing up human agents to focus on more complex tasks and providing faster, more efficient support for customers. Additionally, AI-driven sentiment analysis can help businesses understand their customers better and tailor their support accordingly. The next logical step is to add voice interface to the existing chatbots. This is poised to disrupt call centers worldwide. As you can imagine, this also has a dual implication with the offshoring industry that we just discussed, since many US companies offsource their call centers globally. Before ChatGPT and GPT-4 were released, there were already around 1 million people using GitHub's Copilot. This is an AI tool that helps auto-complete your code. There was already a clear interest in innovation in the technical space. This is a quick graph of the interest in GitHub Copilot after the news that Copilot X would now leverage GPT-4. Over the last year, many of the engineers and data scientists that I've talked with, they're already leveraging Copilot or ChatGPT to code. They also say that they'll never work the same again. And for me, this rings completely true. I've shifted almost completely to describing the work that I would like done and then debugging it rather than starting code from scratch. I think in the long run, more and more coding will be done this way. I also think that traditional software engineering and data science roles, they'll probably move closer to product owner roles where they're outlining requirements and describing functionality while AI is doing the majority of the code writing. This will be transformative because of the volume of output that will be created in the space. I've already seen about a 3x increase in my own output from using these tools. What if the entire technology space increased its output by that same amount? I would imagine it would probably have a pretty big impact on the gaming industry which is what we're going to talk about next. Frame generation, the doubling of frame rate using, again, AI algorithms to generate additional frames. I think it's on the brink of major transformation as AI continues to make strides in development and design. AI-driven tools can procedurally generate game environments, characters, and even stories, allowing developers to create richer and more immersed gaming experiences. Right now, we're seeing a boom in AI-generated video game assets for Unreal Engine in particular, but soon AI can be used to develop adaptive difficulty systems, tailor gameplay to each player's skill level, and even create randomly generated maps for multiplayer games. Some people have already built basic games and adaptive storylines using GPT-4, and this is only the beginning. One day soon, we might even have completely adaptive games where stories and skill trees evolve as we go. Unity, Epic Games, Roblox, and Ubisoft have all announced generative AI integrations in their development kits. I think this is just foreshadowing of what's to come. I've linked a great article that I found in the description about the five levels of generative AI integration in games. If you're interested in that, definitely check it out more. I think that this next field will probably go through the biggest change. In fact, it may cease to exist in the next few years entirely. For both gaming and content creation, two industries that will be changing rapidly, licensing is gonna become a real issue. In content, in games, and in movies, you often have to license images, music, or other assets to be used. If you can generate these things, you can often create something even more customized to your preferences that's very cheap or for free. Companies that license these assets are going to need to adapt or lobby really hard to keep their businesses up and running. I think that stock photography websites are going to be the first to take a real hit here, and the next shock will probably be video and then possibly music. I think music will probably be a bit more difficult to disrupt because there's something powerful about hearing a song that you know in content that you see or interact with. The funny thing is that many of these companies that license photos have had their content used to train the models that will eventually make them obsolete. 
Okay, I saved this last one till the end because I think it has the largest potential for positive disruption, but I also think it'll take the longest to change. It is healthcare and medicine. At least in the US where I live, the healthcare system is ripe with inefficiencies, inflated costs, and also confusing paperwork. AI has the power to improve diagnosis, to make recommendations on treatment, and honestly, even to start to assist on basic procedures. I think that the integration of AI into this system could help to save millions of lives worldwide. On the other hand, in many systems worldwide, healthcare is filled with so much inefficiency and bureaucracy that necessary change can't be made or it takes forever to happen. I'm virtually certain that AI will disrupt this space, but I'm really not sure how it'll happen in the current healthcare environment that we live in. In regards to these different industries, I'm interested. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comment section below.